show you all it's Agnes coming to you with the pumpkin that we are going to actually paint two different ways a buffalo check or plaid whatever you may call it this is a pumpkin that I picked up at the dollar spot at the target so I painted one color white obviously that's as my background and now I'm going to tape my uh, pattern okay as you can see is i do have a painter's tape that is actually marking my pattern so i'm adding a one strip adding the second one then i'm removing the second one because th that is my spacer and so on until i get to the end of my project so now for this pattern um at buffalo check you usually want to use two different colors as you can see is i do have two different shades of gray the a lighter and a darker one so you do want to start with the lighter ones as you can see as painted it already the exposed pieces now i removed the uh, tape and i wanted to make sure that all is dry before i'm going to do the second uh, taping and i just did the same way as i did before so now i'm painting the second coat with the same light shade of the gray and it's again you have to make sure that everything is dry be before we move on to another step so now look what happens i turn my project again and now i'm taping without removing the previous layer over the light area you're going to see it for sure or you can go back and tape the same way we've done it from the beginning but uh, i taped the lighter portion so now i have a little squares when i was painting with labrisca live on my uh on my video i did not tape the third time because it was just too confusing for me and i just simply went over the squares myself um, with the free handed now look what happens you do have a squares and i'm painting it and of course you do have to make sure that everything is nicely attached the tape is nicely attached so now all is dry you do not want to for sure move anything before the paint dries and now look the little buffalo check is it is being you know there super excited that i finally made it it is um you know uh it, it bleed it through uh, here and there but you know what it was my first try so now uh i'm actually pretty happy with this now i'm on a mission to actually make the pumpkin the buffalo plaid uh without taping or of any sort so i'm using my white popsicle stick and i'm just of course i'm doing diagonal pattern we just have to try to see if the diagonal buffalo plaid is working and of course, I do want to find out if I can uh, freehand it, like everybody says, that you are painting it without the taping. But you know what? I still have to mark it. I'm not as brave. So um, in this pattern, I do want it to go a little bit lighter with gray that I did on the other side. So I'm going to use my lightest gray that I had, and I'm going to still d dilute this with a little bit of the white because I really want it to be pale. This is me. I am more into those really gentle colors or really popping colors so i have literally almost white gray in there and i'm just simply following my uh you know layout the little pattern i've created with my popsicle sticks and <laughs> and uh my hands are wonky but you know what i'm trying my best so i'm painting the first coat um without taping do you see this do you see this i'm not taping I'm just painting, painting my wonky line. And the good thing is that I do have a pretty wide brush that has a short hair. So hopefully that's going to work. You know, and on the other hand, it is a um, handmade item. So uh, plus I'm trying. Okay, so now all is painted here. I'm drying it up. And now I'm going to freehand stripes across that I actually do see. So now I'm using exactly the same paint the one that i mixed at the beginning and going across the ones i've done look this is actually looking pretty good well i'm getting better see i've made three, three stripes on the other um on the other way um and now it just seems like my hands are getting a little bit better okay i'm almost done in there of course you need to make sure that everything is dry and what we did um previously when we taped it the, the third time we um we created that big shadow that it's needed for the buffalo check this time i am not going to tape anything obviously we are going to freehand it 
for that, I'm using actually the gray that I was mixing with the white, you know, to begin with. So because it is obviously the, uh, the, the darkest out of all the shapes. And now I'm going over the uh, connections, as I was explaining to Labriska when we were doing it live, over the uh, uh, areas where the two stripes were crossing to create that um, 3D effect and buffalo plate effect. And I actually do see it. It go. I mean, my lines are still wonky, but you know what? It's all dried and it is okay. I think it's good. Now I just need to clean up a little bit here and there. And of course, my trick to clean up all the lines is to simply go with gold. You know, I need to squeeze the gold here and there. So here I go. I go back to my Mackenzie Child, um, you know, idea. And this is like a magic trick for me. When your lines are wonky, you go with the gold, but you do not go with gold everywhere. So that's it. I go this way, you know, one way and the other way. And I've absolutely loved the shade of it. I love what gold brings and I still see the buffalo plaid. I got my gold going. So I'm painting the stem, painting the sides. Obviously the gold is out. I can't help it. It's just got to be done. So that's all what I'm going to do. And I was thinking at the beginning, how am I going to... Um, um, embellish this, leave it the way it is, and I could have actually leave it. But then I found those blue leaves that I have from the Dollar Tree. So I decided to cut a couple of them and simply add the on one side, obviously the buffalo plaid one, uh, a little bit of the details. And then, of course, add on the other side because, you know, depending on what mood we are going to be in, because you never know, that may be actually at the auction. I'm going to add in the same place um, another set of blue leaves. I do actually like what I'm seeing right now. It looks pretty good. So I am thinking, you know, the leaves are maybe not enough. So maybe I'll bring a little bit of the raffia, maybe some bling, depending on how I want to go around it. But I do already know that I will go on the buffalo, the straight buffalo plaid or check, whatever you may call it, more on the rustic side where I go on the diagonal of my way. So my way is a little bit of those Dollar Tree, um, you know, know interest and of course I need to bring some bling to it of course <laughs> but now the decision is which one do I add so I think I settled for this one so now I need to add a little bit of the raffia for this side and I think I am going to be all done with this one it all depends on your mood if you feel fancy you go to the blink if you feel more rustic you go for that side I mean I absolutely love the two sides of my pumpkin of course I need to glue it a little bit better my blink okay so here are the pictures make sure to stay till the end so this is one side the buffalo plaid one with the wooden bead a little bit of a raffia and of course the same leaves I am actually digging that blue on it and that uh, rustic touches without not painted ball look absolutely gorgeous. So now here is my little display with the pumpkins that I've made. I just gotta squeeze some gold since the buffalo plaid on that side does not have any but now look at that beauty. Look how gorgeous that side looks. Most likely know which which way my heart ends. Um, it's for sure ends on this one. I love diagonal. It's not really about the bling, but I absolutely love it too. It's just a different feel of it. As I told you, I am more Mackenzie Child kind of a girl. I don't mind buffalo check, but now look at this, the gold, the bling, the diagonal, all the details that I absolutely love. So I really hope that I finally um, showed you all the ways to paint the buffalo check. So we've done it um, two taping and um, freehanding. We've done it three taping and now we've done it with no taping at all. Which one is your favorite? Which one are you going to do? Let me know in the comments and if you did enjoy this video and if you do not mind, please don't forget to sprinkle it for me. I'll talk to you later. Thanks for sprinkling. Bye.